Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between the Tyneco iFloor 3 Breeze and the Eureka New 400. Here I've got a really big mess, so let's see how they do. So I thought they both did a really good job. Once you're done cleaning up the big mess, you can use it to mop your floor. Now they both have a low and a high. Here we turn the, the Eureka on and then it's got a high and a low switch. Over here we've got power and you turn it on and off, the high on and off. This blue light will flash when you're in high mode. Same with this one. This blue light and this little switch will flash when you're in high mode. They both have self-cleaning. And in order to do the self-cleaning, you do have to plug them into the wall charger. So they both have a charger and you have to physically plug each one in now before you do a self-cleaning cycle you want to make sure that this you have room in here you don't want to go above the max line you want to empty it out before you do a self-cleaning now the self-cleaning on both of them is very simple you're going to press and hold this button for three seconds and you're going to press and hold the power button for about three seconds Okay, so the self-cleaning cycle automatically stops. Here we have the clean water tanks. Press this button. You're gonna take this, open that up there, fill that up with fresh water, and you're gonna put the solution in there. Here, we we'll take this over the sink, lift that little flap up, fill it up with water, and add your solution. Here we have the dirty water tanks. So you just press the button, release it. We're gonna go clean them out. Press the button, we can see there. Let's see how the rollers did on both of them. It does have a self-cleaning cycle. Here's the Tyneco. Let's go over here to the Eureka, open it up. Yeah. Self-cleaning cycle works really well. Yeah, it cleans this whole area, cleans the roller. Let's lift this one up. Now you can see they both operate about the same. The solution comes out the top, sprays it onto the roller. The roller cleans your floor and sweeps everything back to this area right here. This is where the suction is. This tube goes all the way down right in here. So they all look pretty well the same. The Eureka Roller looks like a smaller diameter than the Tyneco. And the Tyneco does have some vents up here to help with drying. The Eureka does not. Okay, let's empty them out. You're simply gonna take the lid off, empty it out. Once in a while, you do have to take this filter out and rinse it out. You cannot be, uh, put that back in there dry. You gotta let that dry. Now this does have a connection. When the float raises up, it does send a connection to the machine to, and flashes the light, I think, red to let you know that the dirty water tank is full. Here's the Tyneco. You're simply going to simply lift its cover off, empty it out. It does have this extra little deflector here. Once in a while, you do have to take this filter out. It's a little bit bigger, and you've got to rinse it out and let it dry. It's just got a simple float, so when the dirty water tank gets full, it comes off and cuts off suction. You'll hear the sound of the machine will change. They both say they have about a 30 minute run time. Now, neither one has a trigger. You simply turn it on and when you turn it on, it's gonna put the solution down automatically. And then we just have a, we have a high mode where we can, it'll put down a little bit more solution and have a little bit more suction. Okay, so price-wise, right now the Eureka is on sale for 160. The Tyneco is on sale for 195. It normally retails for 280. That does seem kind of high for that one. I really do like the Eureka price of $160. Now, Tyneco does make a, a S2 that cleans about the same as that. Um, it, you have to pull a trigger to release the solution, where this one's automatic. And Walmart had it on sale for $99 on Black Friday. That was an amazing deal. But I'm very impressed with this Eureka. Now, the Tyneco seems a little heavier, like it's built maybe a little bit better. I don't know the longevity of either one of these. But the Eureka one is actually very surprising how well it cleaned. You know the Tyneco, I do like this clean water tank. This is just easier to fill up. You know, this one was just a little awkward. Whenever you press, you gotta tilt it sideways and then put the water in, you know, not too bad though. I do prefer having the lights down here when you're cleaning, it's just a little easier to see. When you're cleaning, it's a little harder to see the lights when you're up there. Yeah, this Eureka is definitely worth trying out. This is probably gonna be the lightest weight. That S2, the Tyneco S2 is actually a pretty lightweight too, so. I'll be doing a comparison with the Eureka against the Shark. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. I just released my 
Simple sip coffee. I've got it in whole bean and ground coffee. I've got it in the K-cup form. It's a dark roast Brazilian. You can find that on my Shopify account or my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. And I recently just got my 100,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube. I want to thank everybody so much for your support. So when I'm done with these products, I do, give, I do my free giveaways on Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. And I recently just started a podcast called Coffee with Dad, where I interview different people. Again, I really appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.